From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Multinational agribusiness Wilma Processing has completed the operational phase one of its edible oils refinery in Richards Bay. Skulk Berger has the story. Wilma specializes in palm and lauric oils, the refining and fractionation of edible oils, and the production of oleochemicals, specialty fats, palm biodiesel, and consumer oils. The Wilma Refinery in Richards Bay will process imported and locally sourced oil seeds, mainly imported palm oil and local sunflower seed. The company also processes soya bean, rapeseed, groundnut, sesame seed and cotton seed into various products. Phase 2 of its Richards Bay facility, including a 500 ton a day refinery and a 500 ton a day fractionator, is expected to be fully operational by December this year. Eight local enterprises have also been integrated into Wilmore's supply chain, benefiting sectors including agro-processing, chemicals and logistics. The company's refining and processing plants are usually located near deep draft ports that are logistically advantageous for transportation. Wilmore Processing South Africa GM Thaver Muthu details why the company selected Richards Bay to build a new refinery. Richards Bay, for, from a South African perspective, uh, at this point of time, predominantly all oil products comes only through Durban. Right. and Durban has got a limitation of draft plus the port congestion. So Richards Bay for us was a divergent thinking. Number one, we have a deep water berth, which is quite significant, where we can have bigger vessels can come in. Number two, it's one of the first places in South Africa where you have a direct pipeline from the berth coming straight to a plant. So it makes it efficiency. Okay. And uh, the importance is we have actually achieved thousand tons being discharged under 24 hours which is never heard of in our country with the current port issues that you have if you have to truck it and everything else so that's the kind of efficiency riches bill brings to us rbidz for us is a strategic location it's got benefits for investors from a long-term basis and a short-term basis so we want to use this facility to launch into kzn uh, and eastern cape we currently are based more inland in Kauteng and Randfontein. So this will help us to leapfrog into this geography. The future, one day, uh, the way we see South Africa will become an exporter of oils, especially soya, because of the growth in the South African soya market from a farming perspective. And we believe this facility, one day, we might be also able to export from here soybean, crude soybean oil to shores of Asia. Our strategy for now is uh, Riches Bay will be a tropical plant where we will be playing with all kinds of palm-based products and our inland plant, which we call the soft oil plant, will be for sun and soy. And later, we might look at investments in oleochemicals and all the stuff once we get this right. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.